All right, all right. So what's up, everybody? So let's get into some boxing talk, bro. Look, there's a lot of things happening, you know, uh, the way in today. There's going to be a lot of things to look for. I might go live with that shit, bro. I ain't too sure I might go live, um, you know, but a, a lot of crazy shit that's happening now at the Olympics, right? I'm sure everybody knows, bro, this shit is, is everybody's talking about this thing. You know, man, I don't know too much about that topic, bro. I don't really know too much about it. I see a lot of people on YouTube trying to break it down. People are trying to say that she was born a woman or I don't know, but people are talking XY chromosomes. Like I said, bro, I really don't know too much about that shit. And I'll, I'll kind of keep it real with you guys, bro. Call me insensitive or whatever. I really don't care to try to even uh, know uh, about what's going on right there, right? The only thing that I can say about that shit is that the only thing that I could see is is what are my eyes telling me, bro? When I look at that boxer, he looks like a man to me, you know? This is what my eyes tell me. And like I said, bro, people could try to break this down a hundred different ways and try to get technical on them and this and that. But come on, man. Let me ask you guys something, bro. If you're walking down the street with your girl and you get somebody like that that looks like that that looks like a man right and he's trying to square up with your female with your lady right are you gonna just let that shit happen or are you gonna protect your 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 girl you know what i'm saying for me i, I ain't gonna let that shit slide bro if i see somebody that looks like a man even though he's claiming that he's a girl try to come up and, and square up and, and try to you know fight uh, my girl that shit ain't about to go down like that bro you know what i'm saying and and at the end of the day bro people could break this down a hundred different ways and get technical about it but what do your eyes tell you man this is an unjust what's happening over there at the olympics bro i don't care how people break this shit down i don't care if she was really born a woman but the what, what what your eyes are telling you, bro, is that that is not a woman. You know what I'm saying? Or at least that's what my eyes are telling me. And my eyes are telling me that that is not a fair fight, bro. It's not a fair fight for shit. You're literally looking at a man beating a woman. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy the way they're allowing this shit to happen. Um, Everything about the Olympics, honestly, is, is fucking crazy as fuck, bro. From I mean, you guys know all the controversy behind this shit. I keep it real with y'all, bro. I think um, they're pushing this agenda even more. And I think there's something else going on behind these Olympics. You know what I'm saying? How they're allowing this shit to happen. I even heard that uh, a female boxer died. I ain't too sure how true that is. If you guys know, leave it down in the comment section. I mean, but this shit is tripped out. It makes me just think that they're doing... There's something else behind the Olympics, bro. I'm not going to come out here and say what I think it is, but... You guys could pretty much uh, guess what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it's it's crazy. You know, like I said, um, bro, break this shit down however you want. But what do your eyes tell you, man? You know what I'm saying? People with common sense um, can tell you that it's it's not fair what's, what's happening um, in these fights and shit, bro. And it, it's tripped out the way they're actually allowing this shit to happen. They're, humili they're humiliating these female boxers by allowing this shit, um, by letting them compete against um what what in my eyes is a man you know what i'm saying and i'm sure i'm not the only one bro everybody's thinking about this shit a lot of people are keeping quiet on it you know um but but it's it's just crazy bro people nowadays it's like people are scared to, to, to speak out against this type of shit bro because nowadays you're labeled insensitive you're labeled this and that and you know they're pushing this movement, bro, and it seems like nobody can speak out against it, and and it's just it's just tripped out to me, bro. But you know, um, at the end of the day, bro, you kind of just gotta gotta look deep down within yourself, and what do you feel is right, bro? And for me, like I said, bro, I gotta keep this shit real, and I feel like that's an injustice what's going on over there, right? You know, but let's move on from this topic, cause um, there's a lot of a lot, you know, it's 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 way in day. Um, we got Crawford versus Madrimov. We got Valenzuela versus Pitbull. Um, I want to see these guys at the weigh-in. You know, um, when it comes to 
to this pit bull and Valenzuela fight, I was doing a you know a little bit of research on it because I keep it real with y'all, bro. I can't I can't figure out who's gonna win this thing. You know, I can't even like most of the times I'm pretty confident when I make picks, but in, in this fight I'm not just because there's a lot of questions here and there's more questions when it comes to Rayo Valenzuela. He's moving up in weight and I have questions about how how good his chin is, you know what I'm saying? Um, and this is like, this is what's making this uh, fight so hard to pick, to choose who's gonna win, right? Because there's a lot of questions, you know? But at the same time, I'm kind of thinking that Rayo might pull this thing off, bro. I think that Rayo's gonna get the upset against Pitbull Cruz because he is a lot taller than him, and he has a very huge reach advantage, bro. I think he has like a 15-inch reach advantage. 15 is my bad. 15-centimeter reach advantage over Pitbull Cruz, man, which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? When Pitbull Cruz fought Cabrera, Cabrera had, a, I think it was like a 10-centimeter uh, reach advantage. And you kind of see that the success that Cabrera had against Pitbull Cruz, you know what I'm saying? And now that you get somebody that has kind of like a similar build as a Cabrera in, in Rayo, but with more power, with more reach, and to me, just the all-around better fighter, I think that he has a very high chance of beating Pitbull Cruz, man. But, you know, we'll see. It also depends on Rayo's mentality, bro, his game plan. Is he going to be focused enough to try to outbox him because I think he does have to outbox Pitbull Cruz or is he going to let his pride get in the way and try to fight Pitbull Cruz? You know what I'm saying? This is another big question. We've seen Rayo in the past kind of have too much pride, bro. Um, I'm talking about the De Los Santos fight. So where he was hurt and he just didn't know how to back away and try to recover. He was just trying to fight through uh, the adversity and shit, right? But it, it just didn't work uh, in his favor. So these are the questions that I have, um, and this is why it makes it so hard for me to make a, a, a pick. But honestly, um, I think I'm going to rock with Rayo Valenzuela for this fight, bro. And I know I originally said I uh, had Pitbull Cruz winning. And don't, don't get me wrong, bro. This is a 50-50 fight, man. If there was ever a 50-50 fight in my eyes, it's this one right here, bro. This thing could go either way. But um, I think I'm going to get I'm, I'm gonna rock with Rayo Valenzuela to, to beat Pitbull Cruz. You know, with that being said, bro, you guys tune in for this fight, man. I'm going to be watching this fight right here as a straight boxing fan. I'm not going to be trying to analyze what they're doing, none of that shit. I'm not going to be trying to score this thing. I just, I'm just going to enjoy this fight, bro, because it's a very, uh, it's going to be a very, very good fight, man, and it's going to be a treat. We got a lot of good fights in this card, bro. Andy Ruiz um, against Miller. You know what I'm saying? So they were asking me about uh, who I think is going to win in that fight, bro. I think uh, Miller's going to knock out Ruiz, bro. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Um, I think Miller's going to KO uh, Ruiz in probably under seven rounds, man. Um, Crawford Madrimov, I'm rocking with Crawford. I already dropped the, the, the video on that one. And then we got uh, David Morrell versus um, Reddy Voje. You know, um, I'm I'm rocking with Morel for sure. You know, I think Morel's a beast. This is gonna be his not his first time at 175, but I think his first time um as a professional boxer at 175. He did he did say that he had like a adjustment period for him to get used to it, you know. So that's kind of a red flag, but I don't know, bro. I just think uh David Morel, he's pretty big himself, you know. So I think he's he should be alright, man. And uh, I think this is gonna be a good fight. I'm I'm gonna be looking forward to see this fight too, you know. But yeah, that's it for me, man. Just a quick video. I'll probably drop another video today after the weigh-in. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of busy and shit. I got a lot of work on my hands, but I'm still trying to get these things out just on my breaks and shit. But um, go ahead and leave me a comment, man. Let me know what you guys think about all this shit, bro. But yeah, man, you know, that's pretty much it for me. Go ahead and leave me a, a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be on to the next one, man. I'm out.